A community in mourning tonight after a seven year old dies after being shot outside of his West Philadelphia home. Zamar Jones was caught in the crossfire on his own front porch. Kimberly Davis spoke with a group that's trying to stop the violence that led to his death. She's live at police headquarters. Kimberly. Jess, a mother is preparing to bury her seven year old child after he was shot right outside of his own home. Philadelphia Cure Violence stopped by that block this evening to see what can be done to curb the violence. A violent weekend in Philadelphia has left yet another mother without a child, this time a seven year old boy, Zymir Jones. Zymir was shot on his front porch on the 200 block of North Simpson Street in West Philadelphia. He died Monday afternoon at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Philadelphia Cure Violence says this is exactly what they're trying to prevent. We're not just killing us no more. It ain't got so worse that now we're killing our family. Monday evening, Philadelphia Cure Violence went to the neighborhood where the young life was lost. The grassroots organization is made up of ex-offenders, once a part of the problem. We got to stop looking outside the community. We got enough black men walking up and down this street where they can police their own community. We got enough black men out here that can go out there and touch base with every one of these young guys and talk to them. Because believe it or not, most of them just need attention. They didn't have it. Philadelphia Cure Violence is hoping to stand in the gap. That ain't my child or they ain't my cousin. But the Reaper knocking on every other door. Because you see, you ain't even got to be in the game. Police do have one person in custody in connection to the shooting. But detectives tell us they are on the lookout for two others who also might be involved. There is an emergency community meeting happening Thursday evening at 6 o'clock. Head over to CBSPhilly.com for more information. We're live outside of police headquarters. I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Kimberly, thank you.